let's work on the concept of the error term in this video so this thing the unexplained term and let's write it its properties and then we're actually gonna uh, gonna discuss it so the error term for a specific individual must be independent identically distributed with a mean of zero and a specific constant variance now let's actually discuss everything separately what does it mean to have independent error terms well literally that means that if we know an error term we cannot predict another error term so if we know specific factors for one individual that helps him achieve a higher or a lower wage that does not mean that with that information we can predict better for another human so let's actually write that knowing one error one error does not help us in predicting another error so the fact that one person might have had a higher IQ let's say an IQ of 121 does not mean that another person a completely different person also with an IQ of 121 is gonna have the same wage because that specific factor happened to be just for that person that's why it's called specific that's why it's called idiosyncratic if you want to be a bit more scientific now what does it mean identically distributed identically distributed means that the error terms are drawn from the same distribution so this means let me go to the right to have more space this means that the error terms are drawn taken from the same distribution from same distribution what do we refer here to the distribution we are referring to the set of people that were educated and now are working so educated people that are working because that's what we're researching we're researching the relationship between education and wages so we must have people that are educated and that are actually working educated people that are working and now comes the most important part the mean of the error term the expected value of the error term must be zero and the variance must be constant so the expected value of this unexplained term must be zero what does that mean that means that on average if we take infinitely many observations of people who educated themselves and are working at the moment and we regress the data we will not have errors we will predict accurately if we take really really many observations that's what this means so in other words if we look on our graph we can we can actually argue this having an expected value of an error term equal to zero means that most predicted values most uh, predicted values are going to be equal to the actual values so that means that most values if we would take infinitely many observations this will be the real observations they are going to be very close to the regression line very close to our estimates such that the error term on average is going to be zero in most cases with some deviations with some variation so if we would draw if we would draw the distribution of the error terms they should be normally distributed with a mean of zero so something like that most error terms are going to be zero there's go not going to be a difference between the the predicted value and the actual value but that's when we take infinitely many observations because when we take just one random observation and we see that we have an error term it doesn't mean that our regression is not good all we're saying is that the trend has to be that the error terms in expectations are zero the trend has to be that our line predicts the values very accurately at least that's what we want so the expected value the mean whenever we speak about expected value we are speaking to the mean of the population the average of the population of all the possible observations that we can gather should be zero and when we say that the error term must have a constant variance must have a constant variance what does that mean well that means that doesn't have to be any specific trend in the variation meaning that any deviation that happens from the regression line happened randomly it just happened because of these specific factors 
there shouldn't be a specific trend where if we have more education we also have more variation in wages meaning that in that case by having more years of education we're missing some factors that also influence wages so in that case our line is not complete our regression would miss specific variables and we're actually going to talk what happens when we have omitted variables in the model but a constant variance means that the deviations from the regression the error terms have to deviate from it have to vary from it uniformly constantly up and down up and down just like on this line that's what we refer to constant variance and in another way we also call this homoscedastic variance or just homoscedasticity it's a criteria for our OLS homoscedasticity let's leave it like that in this video in the next videos we're going to discuss all the assumption of the all the assumptions of the OLS we're done for now